the size of this thing. Poor guy got his wings all chewed up by something. And he's just chilling on me. I hear bats in the background. Come on, focus, you dick. Beautiful. He tickles. You can really, really feel the weight of this animal. I mean, this is... Oh, you can see his damaged wing fluttering. When he takes flight, which he's going to do soon, he's warming up his wing muscles. His wings will flap like a bird's. I'm saying that in case the camera doesn't catch it. They're so big they kind of have their own, like, floppiness to it. He's warming up. I know he can still fly. In his current state. I just want him to reproduce because I want more of these lying around. This is a truly, truly beautiful animal. I don't know what kind of moth it is. I think it's some kind of moon moth, which is a relative to the lunar moth, but I'm just guessing. And I'm guessing because of <clears throat> the stripe you see running along the top of his wing, the gray stripe, and the eye shape on the bottom wings and the coloration, it's like a brown luna moth minus the tails, and there's a lot of moths in that family. I mean, I wish you could feel this. It feels like a heart pulsing. It's amazing. His wing muscles are so strong. It feels like there's like an actual animal, like not like just a like a bug on your finger. When he's done warming himself up, he's going to take flight, probably to that light. So I'm going to give him some distance. Even in his tattered, tattered state, I mean, look at him. And his body is so fat. Look at how fat his body is. He's huge. Furry, gorgeous, gorgeous animal. I saw a guy on YouTube who keeps these. I have to start keeping them myself. I love, love big moths. There we go. <laughs> right in the door. Hopefully you're there in the morning so everyone else can see. Because they're all sleeping. And I, didn't, I wanted to let you go. I didn't want to stress you out. How fat his body is. That. That is a fucking cool animal. And away he goes. Towards the huge floodlight.